Are we filming? Yes, we are. So welcome to another video. So this is a file effects hack for those of you that are into your file effects. And I don't know why I've never thought of this before, because I have been a file effects user virtually every day for the last 30, 31 years, nearly coming up. Um, I'm just I'm just delighted to share this with you in case it's something that you uh, will uh, are interested in doing yourself. And and if you are, let me know. Let me know. I'll leave a comment. So this is my hack. So this is a file of hats Sherwood, one of many I have. I really do like these file of hats Sherwoods that that date from this is probably 1993, 1994. That's that sort of era. One of the very last that were made in the UK. Fantastic quality, fantastic flattability. Um, but as you can see, uh, this I'm using as a as a, an indexed database. Uh, I have a couple of these, uh, one here and and one elsewhere. I also have all this all this info in digital format. But it's just so nice to use a file of because it's 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 very very fast access. But. Um, this is what I'm doing because I don't I don't use these credit card slots for credit cards, and as as we know, the depth of the pocket is designed so it's just deep enough to store the credit card, but have or a, or an ID card that sort of thing, a business card, so that you can so the card doesn't disappear down below. You can still grab it. So there is a certain there's a certain depth, which is uh, and the way they do this at Farfax is they have like a concertina, almost like a ribbon of of uh, material, of fabric, and each time it zigzags, it drops down by this amount. So if you if you undid this, you would you would be able to have like a almost like a piece of concertina uh, material. And I've simply got a I've got a sharp knife, craft knife, and slotted it into the into the <laughs> into the uh, into the bottom or very carefully bottom of this particular slot why have i chosen this particular slot it's because some of my pens uh, stick up a little more so you can see that if you are using a range of pens this this is probably the right slot to cut so the the cut is down here somewhere and it's just a fantastic thing. I'm not saying I use this all the time, but as a hack, I think it has value. It's a valid hack, one of many that I'll be sharing with you over the coming weeks. Um, but uh, I want to uh, I want to release these to channel members in in bite sized chunks, um, uh, rather than I'll probably talk about this to the wider the wider. Uh, viewing public in a in a probably a ten follow facts hacks video or something like that, but I wanted to share a little bit more, I guess, with with, with you as members. Um, but uh, but there we go. Um, and of course, the other thing is, as you as you saw from my channel update uh, earlier this week, um, exclusive channel members videos are advert free uh, unless youtube changes the rules they're all going to be advert free so uh i think it's a win-win but anyway um if you think this is a, a good hack then then let me know if you if you think it's uh, not such a good hack i mean i am sacrificing the integrity of this binder but I'm, I can live with that. I probably wouldn't do that with the one that I have had since 1993 because maybe that's a bit well, I have some sent sentiments for sentiment sentimental reasons. So I don't want to butcher that. I don't want to modify it. But certainly this one, I'm more than happy about it. Um, but I like, I really, really like this concept of maybe having a number of pens without agonising over, crucially, how many pen loops you've got. Because you might have one or two or none. But the other thing, the other crucial thing, I hear I am whacking my finger, but the other thing is... There is no limit on the size of pen. I have got here, I've got my Bic, Ubiquitous Bic multi-pen, and then I've got a Pilot V7, which will fit in the pen loop, but, you know, just about. 
And then I've got a couple of, in here, I've got a couple of Pilot G2s, one red and one blue, which I really, really like. And then a big, fat Yinhao 9019, which is, it's a ridiculous pen, I know. Uh, but even the fattest fountain pens will go in here, as demonstrated. So thanks very much for watching. Until my next video, goodbye.